Hey, Bobby here with Coder Foundry. And uh, today I want to talk to you something that I find quite interesting. And every now and then a piece of software comes out that I just got to tell you about. And so recently Bootstrap released 5.2. Now normally 5.2, when you have a dot release like that, it's not worth talking about. You know, it's just a, an incremental release. It's not like a major release like the 5.0 release. But I noticed here in 5.2, there's something called CSS variables. And um, this is pretty powerful. In fact, I'm surprised this is hidden in a dot release like this. They should be talking about this quite a bit. Now, one of the things about Bootstrap is that people feel like, hey, all my sites look the same. I really can't theme it or anything. But if you notice here, Bootstrap has a purple nav bar and some purple buttons and and so they're theming it somehow and they've introduced CSS variables to make it easier for you to theme. So let's look at the documentation here. And over here, inside every component here, they're gonna have these CSS variables. And what this means is, is that we can um, basically take the CDN and just change the values to these um, CSS variables and it will change our component. And that's very powerful. Now before we could always do that, um, we could have used SAS and compiler on style sheet and everything. And that, that, that's, that's fine and well and good. And there's some good reasons where you want to do that. Um, cause if you look down here, this is their custom button here, but you notice here, it's got this shade color here for the active background for the thing, something we can't do inside of a CSS variable. So shade color, we need to do something else. So I'm going to show you how we could style this from pure CSS using these CSS variables. All right. So let's go over to VS Code here. And I've got this site here, it's got two buttons on it. And so if we look at the index here, um, very simple, two buttons, both with BTN primary. And I've got a style sheet here that's empty. And what I wanna do is I'm just gonna use my style sheet to change this button, okay? Now what I wanna do is get the CSS variables from bootstrap themselves. Now I could go back to the documentation and pull them from there, but I want to show you a better way to do this, especially when you're starting out. So one of the things that um, you can do is you can expect the site that I've got the button here and you can see right here, these variables are defined. Everything that we need to know about this button primary class is defined here. And this is what makes this button blue. Now notice here in the BTN, there's some other variables in here like font weight and line height and font family. So if you want to change the face of the button, you can do that as well by changing these few. We're just going to make our button orange here, Coder Foundry orange. So we're just going to copy this one. So I'm going to copy this rule here and um, I'm going to put that inside my CSS here. Now this is linked to my site here. So I'm going to hit here and just going to paste here. And so I've got the BTM primary and you can see here, um, that now you can see how this button is defined according to bootstrap and you can notice right here that i've got this blue color here i've got another color here the border color is a little bit lighter and then i've got this other color and i'm looking at the ends of these so this d7 blue a ca blue and this fd blue here okay this fd blue is just the regular blue uh, the regular blue here and then i've got a hover color it's a little bit darker and maybe even a little even darker border color here. Okay. So let's define a root here. So we're going to say root and in here, we're going to find our colors that we're going to use for this button. So I'm going to create a variable here and I'm going to say CF dash orange color. Now CF stands for coder foundry. Um, you know, and so you would use your own little abbreviation here, a prefix, so that you don't stomp on other prefixes out there. So you'll need to come up with a naming convention. It could be the three letters to the company you're working for. It could be your initials or whatever you want to do. CF for us stands for Coder Foundry. And I'm going to put this, and I'm going to actually call this one RGB. And so I'm going to create the color here. I'm going to say FF993B, one of these useless facts I have committed to memory. And over here, I'm going to turn this to an RGB by clicking right here. Okay. Kind of cool. And then I'm going to create another one. And this is kind of specific to, um, 
the button here that we're going to use because the button requires us to get a darker color and a darker, darker color. And then it also has a color that's being used here for its RGB. So we need an RGB value and then we're going to use HSLs to be able to um, control the lightness and the darkness. We'll see how that works in a second. So I'm going to convert this one to an HSL color and we'll just say HSL. Okay, so what I can do is I'm going to create a my own orange button. I'm going to make this custom button Coder Foundry Orange. Now up until this point, it's just been kind of difficult to do. You really had to dig deep into the Bootstrap CSS to figure out what they were setting and then write overrides for it, or you're using SAS to compile your own version of the Bootstrap style sheet. Now with CSS variables, we don't have to do that. So let's make a new class here. We're going to call it CF dash primary and it's going to do the same thing here and initially I'm going to copy all of these styles and put it in our new style here and then I'm going to go to my button and just change this to CF primary okay so right now they're both blue all right nothing's nothing's changing here because these are all the same so let's go ahead and start modifying this right off the bat so I'm going to change this font color. This button color here is the font color here. And I'm going to put in my dark color here. So I'm going to say var and I'm going to say dash dash CF dash dark color. And you can see right off the bat. Now this has changed over to my dark black here. Kind of cool. Now I'm going to change my background to this HSL color here. So that's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to say dash dash. And I'm going to say HSL. And so immediately now this is orange and we'll go ahead and change this to this border color here. The same thing here. Now our border is this looking pretty nice here. Okay. So we do have our hover color here. So we're going to change that to CF, the dark color. We've got a couple of bars in there. And so now this is kind of pushed over here. Okay. Make sure that that's right. All right. So now that's kind of cool. All right. So now the font face is always dark, just like it does here in the bootstrap button. Okay. All right, so now we can have our hover background. Now, what is going on with Bootstrap is that they're actually shading the color um, using some built-in functions that we don't have accessible to us from straight CSS. So what we're gonna do, instead of calculating colors, we're gonna go ahead and use a trick here to calculate the shade here that we wanna use. And I'm gonna use HSL for that. I'm gonna just change the lightness value. So I'm going to copy this color and I'm going to create a brand new variable and I'm just going to call this darker and I'm going to set it down 10% because this is kind of the shade that they used and they went down 10%. All right. And then I'm going to create one more and I'm going to just call that darkest. You can name these variables whatever you want, and I'm going to change it to 42. Now, what I'm doing is trying to mimic what Bootstrap is doing here um, with their hover colors and their active states. Right. So right here is our D7. And so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to change this to my dark color. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to say var. And I'm say CF dash, and I'm going to pick the darker color it's the darker orange and so now we get the same effect that's going on here and we're really starting to dial this in now the other thing here is there's a focus shadow here and this is the RGB value we want and so we're gonna pull this in and we're gonna pick our CF RGB color 
and it's hard to see it's very subtle but that is um, a shadow that they're setting on focus here so now we're in the orange instead of having a blue tone to it as an orange in the shadow so our um, active color is when it's active what color is the font face here so we're gonna make sure that's set to dark now the only reason I'm using dark and not white is because white doesn't show well on orange so depending on the type of color you're using for your background you want a high contrast here so this white looks great on this blue and this darker color looks good on this orange but if I had a different color um, a lighter color I might have to use you know some white or I have to use dark whatever I want to do there okay so just know that this is only being set here because this orange is kind of medium and the darker tech looks better on it okay all right so now we've got this hover color here that we haven't changed yet and we're going to use our darkest color here so I'm going to change that to var and I'm going to change it to darkest same thing in here in our CA here I'm going to change this to darkest and this is just our active states and then we've got our um, active border color here let's look and see what color they were using here so they were using the BE here okay so we'll just change that to darkest. Again, these colors can be whatever you want. And we're gonna leave the shadow the same. The shadow is just a dark black here. And so that's really not gonna impact what we do here at all. And then in the disable color, what I'm gonna use here is this light gray. So I'm gonna say slash slash use this light gray here and that way when this is disabled this will go light gray and then finally the background is still going to be our, our regular orange here pick our orange HSL color and then same thing here Now what you could do is, um, and this is again up to you, is we could change this disabled and the border color to the darker color so that it has a, a distinct look. So we'll go darker there and darker here. And that's it. And so now we have this really custom button that keeps um, true to all the other styles inside of Bootstrap. Now you can do all of this for every component. In fact, I'm gonna put a repo where I'm styling out the nav, the accordion, and the button. So you can go and look at the styles and see kinda of how I have them set here. But I'm using the power of a root here, using variables to set my colors up here first. Um, the reason I have three oranges here is because of the way buttons work. Um, not all the components have this complexity here, but if they do, you just define the colors that you want and put them in here. Um, what I recommend doing is pulling in the style from this from a live she um, style sheet, so you can see currently what they're doing, and then use that as the basis of knowing what to change and what's going to be affected here. But the 5.2 CSS variables are super super powerful. It really can allow you to take Bootstrap and make it your own. Really bring your theme. To light with the power of bootstrap and the new css variables only found in 5.2 well i hope this helps good luck and keep coding <laughs>